Good morning, it is a very rainy day and I don't really know where to put you in my new car. This is my first time filming in here since we got this car. It's a Ford Expedition. The interior is just this really pretty brown. I'm opening this up so we can have a little more lighting in here. Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> Marissa, use your noggin here. Oh my God. <laughs> know how to open this the rest of the way without opening this part so we're just gonna leave it right there for now um, I actually have no idea how to work anything in this car it's a 2022 limited expedition Shane found one with like 22,000 miles so it was perfect and it's the exact interior that I've dreamed of and I love it so much but it didn't come with a manual they didn't have it for this car so I just have to google everything when I don't know how to do something I'm gonna go grab some Starbucks I actually feel knock on wood i don't have any wood to knock on i feel decent this morning so i'm gonna go grab a starbucks and then we are gonna go to aldi and get some groceries and then i have some stuff to update you on hopefully you can hear me it's raining pretty dang hard right now so hopefully you can hear me but i have a lot to update you on but i just said that oh my god i genuinely cannot talk about how i feel it instantly makes me vomit. <laughs> so, no update on that. <coughs> Is that a joke? All right, <laughs> I just had to barf outside my car in the rain. Thought I was done, got back in. Just threw up some more. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm 14 weeks. And still barfing. Um, I'm gonna run inside and brush my teeth really quick. I'm shocked I didn't just pee my pants. Because usually anytime I stand up and throw up, I pee my pants. Sorry, guys, this is just real life. Go in and brush my teeth. <coughs> please, please be done. I'm gonna go brush my teeth. Wipe off my glasses. Then we're gonna go to Starbucks. <laughs> Figured out how to open the rest of this. I did have to Google it because I wasn't figuring it out, but thank you, Google. We got it figured out. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. Okay, thank you. Um, could I have a tall pumpkin cream cold brew, please? You said a tall one? Yes, please. Wonderful. What else can I get you? Um, and then could I have an order of bacon egg bites? Go ahead and pour four. We'll get ready for you shortly. Thank you. And she's like, could you hold on for just a second? And then one second later, sorry about that wait. <laughs> that was a crazy wait. You're right. You should be sorry for that. I had such a good spot in my Explorer to put my camera when I was in here. And we all know I vlog a lot of my car, but um, apparently we're just going to have to see some things when we're in here. But I'm sitting at Aldi right now. They open in 10 minutes. There's already a group of old ladies standing by the door waiting. I feel like that happens every time I get to Aldi a little bit early because they open too late. 9 a.m. for a grocery store makes no sense. I want to be able to drop the girls off at school and go get groceries. Like 8 o'clock even. Like that makes so much more sense. I am quickly talking myself out of going in here. I've just been having a hard time with stores since I've been pregnant, kind of lightheaded and I'm so nauseous and I feel like I could throw up on anyone every time I go into a grocery store, but it's happened to me several times and now it's just in my head. And I was motivated to go to the grocery store because I felt really good this morning, but since I talked about it earlier and <laughs> threw up, um, I'm pretty nauseous again. So I am on Instacart right now and I'm seeing if I can get a pickup today because if I can, um, I'm just going to do pickup <laughs> and then I'm going to go home. And I know that sounds crazy, okay? I realize that that sounds unhinged when I'm sitting at Aldi. But nothing has really made sense this pregnancy, okay? Yes, okay. There are spots for 11 to 12, so I'm just going to do that. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and drink my coffee and switch the laundry. Oh my gosh. The volume of people running to the door right now. You know what? I'm not dealing with it. I'm gonna do the Instacart pickup and hopefully next week is my week to go to normal grocery stores again. But I went to Costco 
um, like a week and a half ago and it was really hard for me. It was like not an enjoyable experience. I felt like I was gonna pass out the last like 10 minutes while I was waiting to check out and it was just not good. I just, I'm just not there yet. This song just totally made me cry on the way home from the store that I didn't go into. Um, I've heard it before. It really hits different when you're pregnant. I highly recommend. It's really, really sweet. This is one thing I've really had to get used to in this car. I keep trying to grab over here, which doesn't make sense because I didn't even have that in my car. I had like a regular thing like that. Um, but for some reason in this car, cause I feel like I'm driving Shane's truck. I feel like I need to be shifting over here cause that's how his truck is. But anyway, it is a little bit later now. I am freezing. I could definitely close the windows, but it's raining and it's just kind of nice. I got home, I laid down for a while. I've just had a headache and I don't feel the best. So I laid down for a little bit and now I'm gonna drink some orange juice. I don't know what it is about orange juice. You would think it would make my stomach not feel great, but for some reason, it's one thing that can usually settle my stomach. So I drink a lot of orange juice, a lot of it. My groceries are ready to pick up from Aldi, so I need to go get those in a few, but I figured I would sit down and just catch you up on life a little bit and yesterday, because yesterday was a pretty rough day, to be honest, emotionally. <laughs> it was pretty rough. I had my regular 14-week OB appointment yesterday, and when I went in, my blood pressure was high. Um, my last two appointments, it's been higher, higher for me anyway. I got induced with both the girls because of my blood pressure, but that was different because my blood pressure was like perfect all through pregnancy and then it spiked up right at the end. My doctor didn't want to mess with it, so she induced me both times. Blood pressure was elevated my first two appointments. I had a nurse's visit and then I had my first prenatal appointment with my doctor. That first appointment with my doctor, she wanted to make sure that I was taking baby aspirin every single day for my blood pressure just with my history. My mom has high blood pressure. A lot of people in my family have dealt with high blood pressure, so unfortunately it can just be a genetic thing. But personally for me, I've never dealt with it. I've always had great blood pressure. So I went to my appointment yesterday and they took my blood pressure and it was high. So she said, okay, well, I'm gonna have you sit here for a few minutes and then we'll take it again. And then she took it again and it was so much higher. And she was like, all right, we're not gonna take that number. It's probably because you're stressed about your blood pressure. So my doctor came in and she talked to me about my blood pressure. She doesn't like it. Um, she had me get a blood pressure cuff and she wants me to take my blood pressure twice a day, every day, mark it down and then come back in two weeks and she's gonna go over it. Two weeks, I'm really focusing on my blood pressure. Um, she really wants me to work on getting my stress down and she was like, if you can lower salt, lower salt, like doing physical activity helps, but also one big thing is how sick I've been and it's just a lot of stress on my body. Um, and the fact that I have gone into every appointment nervous about my blood pressure, um, and that doesn't help. So all of these things are taken into consideration. And I really appreciate my doctor because she does not at all jump to medication, like by any means. So she really wants to work on my blood pressure, doing other things before we get to the point. I don't want to be on blood pressure medication at all, but I'll do what I have to do for the baby. She had me lay down and she got the Doppler out and she was not finding the heartbeat. She was searching around for a while. Um, at one point she thought she heard the baby like flip kind of, but she couldn't get a heartbeat. She was like holding my arm while she was looking for it. And she was like, okay, relax. I'm gonna go get another Doppler. My batteries might be dying. Um, let me go see if I can get the other Doppler. So she gets the other Doppler. She's looking around, searching. It's a long time and she can't find anything. And I'm just sitting there breathing through it because obviously I was already, um, a little upset about the blood pressure thing. That on top of her not being able to find our baby's heartbeat was <laughs> not a fun moment for me. She's like, all right, I am gonna send you for an ultrasound. She was like, if we are at the other clinic, I'd just walk you down there right now and we would go get one just to make sure. Um, but she doesn't have an ultrasound machine yet at this clinic because she's pretty new to seeing patients at this office. So she doesn't have an ultrasound machine yet. She's getting one, doesn't have one yet. So she went and called while I sat there. She couldn't get on the phone with anybody. And she was like, all right, I'm gonna figure this out. I will get you in for an ultrasound either today or tomorrow. They don't have anything on the book, but I will call the ultrasound tech and I will get it figured out so I can get you squeezed in. Just go home for a little bit. I'm gonna call you. And she was like, you're 
not the first person to not be able to find a heartbeat on the Doppler at 14 weeks. She was like, it, it can be plenty of factors. I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay. Then I got into my car and I sobbed for like 10 minutes. I just had to cry it out a little. Boots, get out of here, bro, get down. Um, I just had to cry it out for a little bit. Then I came home and luckily Shane was working from home yesterday. So I went up into his office and I updated him. He calmed me down a lot. He was like, I Googled it. It's very normal to not find a heartbeat on a Doppler before 16 weeks. And he's just like so sweet all the time. Um, he just always makes me feel so much better. And it just worked out really well that he was working from home that day because he had a really busy week last week. So it was just meant to be that he was home. Insanely emotional this pregnancy. Um, I am emotional every time I'm pregnant. Obviously the hormones are raging in there, but I'm like super ultra emotional this time. Um, so just, I'm fine. I really, I really am fine. I just wanna, I just wanna say that, but I'm very emotional. Um, Shane was like, we're gonna figure out your blood pressure. I'm gonna take all the stress I possibly can off your plate. He was like, I'm gonna handle as much as I possibly can so you don't have to stress out about that stuff and you can just work on taking care of yourself and taking care of the baby. I was waiting on a phone call. That was not a fun wait. I realistically did not have to wait that long. I think I got home from my appointment and they called me maybe like 20 minutes later. Before they called me, Shane was like, all right, well, I'm not gonna have you sit here and just think about it. He was like, let's go for a drive, let's go to lunch, whatever. And then they called me. They were able to get me in for like a half hour after that phone call. So thank goodness. Went over to the clinic and they got me right in for my ultrasound. Like the moment she put the thing on me, you could see the heart beating and you saw the baby. So obviously a big relief. And um, we got all these pictures, so many pictures of the feet. So she looked over everything with the baby. It was maybe only like five minutes. She didn't do like measurements. She was just basically checking on the heartbeat. She did confirm what we are having because we did genetic testing and we found out a few weeks ago, how long has it been? It's been maybe, it's been a while. I found out really early and I will tell you all very soon. Hopefully like this week at some point I will take a picture or something. Um, I have let it slip so many times in my Instagram DMs and I'm not even really trying to hide it or anything. I just kind of want to take a cute picture. I wanted to confirm it on an ultrasound and we did. I mean, it's still a little bit early, but she looked, since I told her what we were having, she looked and she was like, yeah, I'd say that's right. It was obviously very reassuring and I'm grateful to get a bonus ultrasound and we are all good there. The text said something about how the baby could have just been like spine forward, like the spine facing my stomach and that's why um, she couldn't find anything on the Doppler. Down in my gut, I knew that the baby was fine because one, I've been so sick, but also I'm pretty sure I have already been feeling this baby move. I know it's early, I'm 14 weeks, but I have had two babies and I know what it feels like. Um, and I felt like on the way to the ultrasound, I felt like I was feeling the baby move. In that little hour of waiting, it was pretty traumatizing, especially when you've had three miscarriages, like I have, uh, yeah, it's just a little traumatizing, but all is well. I have to reiterate how grateful I am for my doctor. She's just incredible. Um, she's so nice to me and hey, we've been through a lot together at this point. She's delivered both the girls and I've had some things with both of them and she's just always been great. What the f Oh, I'm, <laughs> my skin is crawling. I just saw a mouse in my kitchen. Sent Shane two texts in all capitals. I'm freaking out. I know Shane is going to be like, okay, you psycho, like I will catch it and it's fine. Where did it come in? We literally just built all this stuff five years ago. I'm scared that it came from the basement or something and there's more. <laughs> to go pick up these groceries. I don't know where it went. I saw it and then it disappeared. And I'm just like freaking out. <laughs> okay. No, it's just a little mouse and I'm being super, super dramatic. I don't think I can be here until she gets home. <laughs> oh my God. Calm down. 
over the mouse. Shane thinks I'm unhinged. He grew up in a house that like had mice sometimes. So I feel like we just have different experiences. <laughs> I'm trying to drink a poppy. I have to go grab the girls from school, but I'm so nauseous. I've thrown up three different times today and I have a headache. I had a headache yesterday that I just like did not get rid of and it's like in my neck. Um, so pretty much nothing has gotten accomplished today, but I hope Shane will be home soon. I didn't try to move anything out of the way. My dad did get me a couple traps and set them for me on the counter. I'm not dealing with it. Shane can check the basement and stuff when he gets home and whatever. But the girls from school, I'm super exhausted. I really was hoping I'd feel better today, but I actually feel the worst that I felt in a few days. I told the girls that there is a mouse in our house somewhere. <laughs> Lucy said she's scared. Stella says she wants to see it. <laughs> I saw so no fish. Did you have a good day? You're so nervous. Stella said she's so nervous. Did you have a good day today? Yeah. Bake sale? Yeah. Woohoo! Update, Shane looked all around and he thinks the mouse is gone. I don't like that answer, but he did set some traps. He looked all around and he can't find anything from the mouse, so he thinks it probably like just got in, like it hasn't been like living in the kitchen or anything. So stand by on the mouse, but my mom just brought us dinner. It is, but that was super nice of her. She texted me earlier and said she was gonna bring us dinner. So she brought a bunch of stuff. She brought this like pasta dish and crescent rolls. She cut up a bunch of fruit for the girls. She kind of feels guilty about my blood pressure because she thinks it's her fault, <laughs> which obviously it's not. She basically was like, tell me anytime you want me to make you dinner and I will make it. So we took her up on it because I haven't cooked a meal in two months and I think Shane will be really excited about a home cooked meal. Daddy, the girls are eating dinner behind me. Shane's outside on the phone right now. Um, but I just got a package in the mail from Aerie. They apparently took it to the people across the road from us. There is an east and west address of our house and it gets mixed up constantly. It's always switching off our mail with each other, but I bought some things on Airy. None of my clothes are fitting me great right now and I've just been feeling kind of bad about myself and I wanted something new. So I ordered a few things. I got these sweatpants. This is a very casual Airy haul, but I got these like oatmeal colored sweats. I just thought they were cute. I got a medium and the review said they run pretty big and they definitely do. So I should be able to wear those the entire time. I'm out of breath. What baby? Um, those pants are neutral color. <laughs> they are neutral color. You're right. When it gets cold out, I am just an airy girl. Yeah. This is an airy. Get off the counter, baby. Yeah. Can you, be full? can you be full? Eat a couple more bites. No. One more bite and then you can be done. Can you finish your strawberries? It's like all airy today. I'm wearing these, my pale stomach. I'm wearing these little crisscross leggings from there. Um, I'm already showing. It's crazy, but I feel like the third baby's just popping out real quick. What do you think? Do you think mommy looks like she's having a baby? Yeah. Isn't it crazy? Oh, careful, yeah. Sandra. Hi baby. baby. I love you. Hi baby. I love you, baby. Love you, baby. <laughs> You're so sweet. Yeah. Lulu, are you full? Yeah. No, you need to try a couple bites of your noodles, okay? Crisscross leggings that I'm wearing are flared at the bottom, and I wanted a pair um, that were not flared. Oh, so I got a large short in the leggings that I'm wearing now. So I knew I liked them. I knew size wise it was good. Things. My camera is blinking at me, so I need to hurry up. I'm so excited about this sweatshirt. It is pink. Very, very pink. It's so pink. Um, and, so and this is a medium. Make sure you don't size up in any of the airy sweatshirts. The one thing that I don't love that they're doing this year with their sweatshirts is they're putting this random slit in the back. I don't know if you can see it. Kind of random to me. I don't know why they did that, but overall it's like the same sweatshirt that I love and I get a new one every year. What, baby? I Thank you so much. Okay, you can be done. Yeah. Are you, is your belly full? Yeah. Okay, your belly's full, you can be done. Thank you for eating. 
You did a great job. You're Rapunzel now. This is the last thing I got. It's just like a really comfy thermal. I actually got this in an extra large because some of the reviews said it was pretty short. And obviously I'm pregnant and I don't want <laughs> my belly hanging out. So I got an extra large just to be like a cozy leggings shirt. And I think it's going to be perfect. So that's what it looks like. It's just a gray thermal. Nothing fancy. Yeah. Do you like it? Feels like it's gonna be really comfy though. I just bought all of this like five or six days ago, so you should be good. I will try to link it all for you, but yeah, there's my little airy haul of clothes that should actually fit me. It's actually gonna be kind of warm this week, so probably not gonna be able to wear any of these. <laughs> That's okay. They love looking at our ultrasounds. <laughs> just talking to baby, huh? That's so cute. <laughs> what are you doing? Do it. Stella's a dinosaur. Go out there, but can you please put shoes on because you just got out of the shower, okay? okay? Thank you. Lucy is in the shower now and I'm so exhausted. I'm tapped out for the day. Dinner is not sitting great. That's okay. You can just put it in the shower. Sure. My mom made this really good like Mexican pasta casserole thing, but um yeah, it's not sitting amazing in my stomach. I'm pretty nauseous and I am unbelievably tired. So I think I will be here the rest of the night. Um, my dad plays volleyball, his team that he coaches plays at six. So I'm just gonna lay on the couch and watch that. And that is it for my night. I am so thankful for Shane. He has completely taken on dinner and bedtime for two months so incapable of getting anything done past five o'clock um so really grateful for him that he's done that it's been an eventful couple days and i'm ready to go to sleep but i promise i will pick up the camera very soon so see you next time good night